Least common multiple is a bigger deal on the ACT than greatest common factor. It doesn't just show up by itself, it shows up in fractions, rational expressions, a couple other places. What is the least common multiple? It's the smallest number that everything else, the numbers in the set, will divide into. Let's look at 6 and 12 again. Okay, so you can probably eyeball this one, but let's run through the prime factors. So 6 times, 6 breaks into 2 times 3. 12 breaks into 3, 4, and then that breaks into 2 and 2. Now, on GCF, we take the least occurrence of each unique prime number. On LCM, we take the most occurrences. So I've got 1, 2. I've got two twos. I'll take both of those twos. I've got 1, 3, 1, 3. I'll just take 1. Multiply those together. 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. Easy peasy. Now, another way to do this is to match multiples. So this works pretty well if you have one of those kind of nasty word problems where the least common multiple aspect is kind of hidden. So you just start with 6, right? 6 times 1, 12 times 1. And start running through them. Okay. As soon as you have one match, that's your LCM. When it comes to variables, same sort of deal applies. So let's say I have x, y squared and x squared, y cubed. Now, if you remember on greatest common factor, we took the least exponent. This time we want to take the greater. Let's go ahead and expand these out and you'll see y. x times y times y. Same number as here. x times x times y times y times y. Okay, two unique factors, x, y. Right? Remember, I take the most occurrences. I've got two x's here. I'll take both of those. I've got three y's here. So take all three of those y's. And of course, I can put it back into exponential notation. And that's going to be my greatest common factor. The ACT example, which is not this time at the bottom of your screen, ask you to find the least common factor of 8, 10, and 12. Just eyeballing it, you can probably tell that's not going to be that easy, right? It's the, the numbers are pretty close together. They're all reasonably large. Um, and it's going to be a little trickier than normal. But it's really not that bad, especially if you know some tricks. Okay, so start this way. Now, in this case, it's kind of obvious it doesn't work, but always start with the biggest number. The smallest, the least common multiple can ever be is the biggest number in the set. That's just the way it works. So start there. Now, you don't probably need to do the math, but you can tell to tell that 8 and 10 don't go evenly into 12. 12 is out. Now, on greatest common factor, we started with the smallest number and worked our way down. In this case, we work with the biggest number in the set and work our way up. Now, because 10 is in there, you can kind of eliminate some without doing the math. So 10 only has multiples that end in zero. So 24 is out. So we can try 60. Well, obviously 10 works, 12 works, but 8 doesn't work, right? I get to 56 or 64, can't get to 60. Try 80. 8 will work, 10 will work, but no 12. 12 doesn't work there. So finally, I'm left with E. Don't need to really check it unless I want to. 8 works, 10 works, and 12 works. Everything works. E is our LCM. So for more on this, I would check out fractions and rational expressions.